welcome back to Nails by Mish. So in this video, you got a little sneak preview. We're making some blob nails, especially if you did see the thumbnail of this video. So um, we're just starting off with some clean nails that have just been, just removed everything off of them, shortened them a little bit. Just gonna take all the extra dust off. So I haven't posted a video in a couple weeks and like I literally feel some guilt over it for some reason. Whatever. I'm just going to show you my semi kind of messy drawers to show you this is kind of what I picked from. These are my gel bottle colors. I want to do some like orange and pink thing. Something I saw online with these like little blobs. So I did choose this pink, Kimmy's Cosmo, and I did end up going with this orange. It is called Rave On. So that's what we're working with today, color-wise. And we're gonna use some gels, and I was gonna like try to experiment because if you've seen before, like there are like these like thicker gels on the market where you can like it's kind of like modeling clay I never use that I brought it but I didn't use it but um the poly gel it's like it wouldn't come in a tube this gel if you've seen it maybe if you've seen nail coo her videos um it's like extra extra thick and you can like roll it into a ball and like people are making all these like crazy 3d nails I don't have that okay and also right now we're starting with base coat but I don't have that stuff because I don't buy it. I haven't bought it. I don't know where to buy it. So therefore, let's just wing it with what we have. And that's what we're going to do. And that's maybe what you at home are doing. So maybe this is relatable. If you want to make some jelly nails, some thick boy nails, some, <laughs> some blobby nails. That's what these are. So. Um, I'm doing like after the base coat I'm just putting on like a pretty like basic layer of just regular hard gel or just a clear gel it doesn't really matter this could be builder gel whatever you want you just need just a base of something a little thicker than just a base coat gel um, because you're gonna put the blobs on top it that will add a bit of like structure to the nail or a bit of like thickness so you don't want to have more thickness on the base of the nail that will really just like you don't want these nails to be like really really thick and excessive so um yeah so I'm just applying it again the other thing I wanted to talk about is that um like my little like guilt about not posting video so um for the past like week or so like literally I filmed this on like July what like 10th and I haven't like it's July 30th so I'm literally just getting around to this and I don't know hopefully you guys just like stick around because I will be posting more and more videos um uh, but you know sometimes when you just like lose all your like mojo like my mojo just like left like I have no like um energy right now and I feel like I'm just trying to get it back so I just did two coats of rave on now you're gonna see this like really big fat fail. So I was trying to like literally imitate that like thick gel. So I was like, oh, I'll mix it with the pink, you know, and then we'll like try and mold it into like a little ball or like a little noodle and like stick it on the nail. And then I was just like messing around with it, like just trying to like mix it all together. Like stick it on there, like see if something works. It was just like so sticky. Ooh! It was just so sticky. <laughs> yeah. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. So, <laughs> let's get back to just, we're gonna hand paint this. This is what I've, I just, you know, after I tried like making my little fake blobs, I was like, no, we are not those Instagram people. We are um, like the, the rest of the world. We're those real people who don't have those things. So we're going to hand paint our blobs first. So this is the color that I'm going with the pink. I want to make a little messy circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's a beautiful thing about this like 
look or this style like it doesn't have to be perfect because it's a blob it can be whatever shape you want it to be um i don't know if you can hear that that is a little dog she's come to say hi and she breathes very loud and she grunts so it's my dog she's Manny. so once you've applied the color and you've cured it um that's when you would go in with your hard gel <laughs> You go in with your hard gel and you layer it on top and try just try to stay within the lines. Okay. <laughs> so this round, when I was doing my little blobs, I wanted to um, I just wanted to see if I could do them with the um, that stick thing. It's a dotting tool it was not very good honestly just using like a very thin little brush like I'm using here that was actually the most effective because I could get into like the small little crevices and you can really like apply the gel nicely so yeah when you make your little blob and you've like filled it all in I would say probably cure between each one because it can start to like spread even if you've like wiped off all the sticky layers the gel will start spreading so it's best to just cure in between each one and if you're doing a client's nails you would just swap hands in and out to apply the top coat but it kind of like you know I'm dragging downwards like in the like bottom circle of the of that little like loop there the gel is kind of like sitting in one spot so I kind of like pulled it back a bit just so that it was a little more even I really like the like when these cure like afterwards like they kind of look like wet I really like that look if you wanted something different like you could do a matte top coat on the orange and then apply your pink blobs or whatever color blobs you want to do um, and then put your thick gel on like make your little blobs like make them like 3d and then put top coat on just those because then you'll have like the contrast of the matte and the glossy blobs that's also an, op um, an option for you um, but this is the final look I think they look great super cute and fun and pretty simple to do it's, it's not like that difficult you just have to have hard gel so um that's all i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one thanks for tuning in bye